Uh, okay. Welcome everyone to the first league um, recording. And well, it's the first time that I'm doing this, so excuse any mistakes. Uh, we are playing a very stock humans list. I am on the fourth alias plan due to the Jeskai and I don't know Storm and all the other matchups where she's very relevant. And aside from that, our sideboard is also pretty stock. I am on the three Dire Fleet, three Sync Collectors plan as well after Dylan uh, presented this plan to us, I guess. Also, I just cannot give up on Aria Champion. It has won me too many games on its own that I can, uh, more than I can recall. So. Let's head into the first game, I guess. Where is it? Okay. All right, we are on the play. Um. Unfortunately, this hand is not keepable. Uh, this is what I hate about Ziggurat. Yeah. If it were any other land, it would be good. Alright, let's look at this. Uh, no one drop. Horizon Canopy are only cards. We cannot cast Freebooter. Meddling Mage. Hmm. I don't really want to go to five. Uh, I think I'd rather rely on our scry one and also on the draw steps. I mean, we do have folly on turn two. Man, this is a bad draw, but I don't really want to go to five. I guess with a little help, this hand can be okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep that on top. All right. Not a very good start for us, but we did find the land that we wanted. Okay, shock. What is this? Stumping ground, fadeless looting. Oh, so it's dredge. Okay. Okay, I like the Thalia on the play here. It does slow their plan down. Enough that the... Uh, for enough time that we can at least set up our board. For next turn, depending on what he dredges, I think I'll just freebooter him. Okay, immediately sack. Okay, he used the stink wind. Sure, I guess. Amalgam. That's a pretty good start for our opponent. I mean, not the best that he could have, but it's not a bad one. Mm-hmm. Another Neon Age? Sure. There's Amalgam. We're not in a very good spot here. We do have Resto. Alright, so... There's a human. Let's freebooter him. See what we are dealing with. Maybe he just wants to neonate in response. I don't know. Maybe not. Narco Amoeba, Conflagrate, Faithless Looting. Um, okay, so... I might actually just take the... Faithless Looting. Yeah, I think taking Faithless Looting is, is the right play. Be, yeah, Conflagrate is not gonna it's not gonna be too impactful right now. Oh. Question is do we attack and let me think about this. I'm not gonna block Amalgam, so we are probably gonna take five next turn. Do I really want to mill blood guest? He doesn't have any reasonable way to discard anything on his hand. 
It doesn't have any dredgers. And he also doesn't have a land. Um, it does have neonate to discard the stinkwid. Mm. Yeah. I think actually I want to... Yeah, I just want to hold back Thalia here to block the blood gas, actually. I want to preserve our life total as much as we can. That amalgam is going to hit hard. I don't think we can afford the two damage. And he can also just block with Neonate. Huh. I guess we take one extra damage next turn. No, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep Thalia back to block the blood gas. We do have to keep our life total reasonably high, at least above 10. Because haste on the blood gas is actually very relevant. Okay, our opponent is doing some tanking here. Okay, no attacks. Just go. I need him to brick a little bit here, actually. Hmm, okay. It's not the worst for us. Uh, okay, here instantly milled. Okay, that's a good line of play. Okay, that's bad for us. We are in a very rough spot, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna block that. No point in tanking. Extra damage for no reason. Maybe we can actually... Okay, so there's Darkmoor, Price the Amalgam, it's gonna have two Amalgams, yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. We have no other option but to Medley Mage on Conflagrate, and we can't really sack the Canopies. Well, we are in a relatively bad spot here. All right, go opponent. It's gonna mill tug. Sure. Okay, he didn't hit much, I guess. Wow, this is painful. We are really in the back foot here. Oh no, blood gas attack. Okay, I'm not gonna block that. Problem is that he turned on the. Look, gas haste. Okay. Stinkwood is fine. Do we rest though? Hmm. Um. I might actually just meddling mage and folly lieutenant. Tali's lieutenant? Yeah. To block. I guess we gotta stay back here. Hopefully set up for the next turn. Okay, so what I'm gonna name in here. Uh he milled one cathartic reunion. No real threat in the bin. So do we name Dark Blast? I know the two cards in his hand. One is Conflagrate, one is Nakamiba. I guess we named Dark Blast. And use that one to block one of the amalgams if he attacks. So that way we can at least somewhat protect the lieutenant. At least during combat, I guess. Before combat. Alright, so... Hmm. I'm actually just gonna attack the... Rebooter females, another blood gas, that would be a problem. No, I cannot afford to attack. I just gotta pass. Well, we are in a pretty rough spot, actually. Uh, another Narc Amoeba, another prize that Magnum is pretty annoying. Sure. Maybe he doesn't attack. Like, if he doesn't attack with the Amalgams... Nah, there's no reason for him to not attack with the Amalgams right now, right? This way he can just, uh... Attack... Oh, that's a mistake. 
for our opponent. He had the free attack on the amalgams there. Like, Prize Amalgam is going to enter on end step, I think, so it triggers both amalgams. Next end step, so it would be our turn anyway, he would have it. Not sure that was the right play for our opponent. Um, I guess we just. What if we. Meddling Mage on Loam? Is that a good play? Can we somewhat survive the attacks? I think we can. Actually, naming Loan might be good. I think we are kind of forced to do this. Life from the Loam. Because he can just Loam get back all of this. And if he somehow kills the Meddling Mage that is holding up the Conflagrate. I'm pretty much just dead. And also we shut down one of the ways that he can dread recursively. Alright. And pass. Wow, I don't know if we can get out of this. I don't know how we can get out of this. We gotta wait for him to make a mistake and try to... I don't know maybe trap him with the restoration angel uh, faithless looting is a bad one for us okay maybe this can go like in such a way that the board state is gonna be so jammed up that it's just going to run out of cards eventually because like the more he holds back the more of a board it can uh build and next turn we can hopefully pass with resto up yeah i think oh reflector is not bad but i think i'm just gonna resto maybe bounce one of the amalgams and try to get how greedy are we? Okay, so he discarded one of the conflict rates. How greedy are we? I know one of the cards in his end is Narco Amoeba. How greedy are we if we just bounce one of the amalgams? We do get rid of a 3-3. Three, three. If we bounce this, our Mantis Rider can get in. But if we bounce this, we actually get rid of a bigger body. Yeah. Um, look, I'm behind on board. I'm just going to be greedy and try to give value. At least this way, um, we can try to set him up for a bigger trap next turn. Like, now we are even on the board, at least. I think we crammed up the board pretty well that he cannot afford to attack like uh, without taking any hits we are on the back foot here so I think we have to go for the more aggressive and higher value play which is playing the reflector mage uh, he's gonna start getting in with that sure I'm not gonna block it, just just one damage. Hopefully we can stop that thing. Ugh, another one is really annoying. Hmm. Now now I think we just pass. And look, we got conflagrate and dark blast covered. We also got life from the loan covered. So I think his game plan is probably going to be keep attacking with both Stinkwids. He's going to try to like unjam the board with that. And I'm going to start getting in with Folly actually. I think we got to bait him into attacking into Resto. 
this way maybe we can somehow win I gotta deal with this thing we do and he doesn't have red mana for conflagrate he doesn't have both black mana as well alright now that he actually played that ugh, going to force really annoying hate that we can actually deal with both stinkwits just gonna go to three he doesn't play boats this goes huge we bounce this I take one no blocks next turn Ugh, going to two is really bad, Jesus. But I think, oh, okay. Um, reflector Majum. Alright, so Reflector Mage this thing. Now let us think. He has four blockers, and I have a lot of damage, but I am at three. So I have to be careful. Maybe I just attack with Lieutenant Talia. Then he would have had four, five, six attackers. I would have seven blockers. Hmm. I mean, we. I don't think it's a good idea to crash in with everything. Plus, guys, like, yeah, the blue guys can just kill me. That's a very bad idea. Oh wait, they can block. Oh, okay. So it has four blockers. It has throw one in front of the lieutenant. Probably two in front of meddling mage, one in front of Thalia, so he takes two, four, seven, Eight, nine, that's not enough. So now it's a mistake to attack with everything. Um, I'm gonna jam with these two because it makes blocks awkward for him. And actually, if he doesn't try to win next turn, which I don't think he can, I think we are in the okay spot to, to beat him next turn. Unless he has some weird card in the main deck that I'm not aware of. At least I think we got our bases covered on Conflagrate and Dark Blast. And also we shut down the life from the low on plan. Huh. It's a very complicated com sorry. It's a very complicated matchup. Dredge. Actually it's the second time that I'm playing Dredge. Last match from the last league was also Dredge, which I beat 2-0 on the draw. And it didn't actually feel like a hard matchup. We actually locked them on the Conflagrate and Dark Blast plan, and game one was just really bad for him. Huh. Guess I didn't see that block. Does it matter, though? I mean, he cannot cast anything. Sure. I'm just gonna let it happen. I don't think it matters losing Talia. Is he playing Lava X main deck? I don't think he is. I think we're still okay. He only has three blockers, which has to throw one here. One and the other two here, so this is two, four, seven, nine, exactly, eleven. Maybe if we draw another card, it's more. Thank God for no blood gas in the bin. Fate is looting, sure. Good. Dark Amoeba is annoying. Oh, Scorch Devil. Jesus. Although I don't think that's going to matter that much. But we do have to be careful due to the Narco Amoeba. Okay, two amalgams is pretty huge. Any attacks opponent? No. 
All right, let me think about this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly nine creatures from him with haste and attacking. Right now, he only has four blockers. I still don't think we can get in. I mean, do we sack the can? I don't think there's any reasonable line of play to not sack the canopy here. Alright. So, yes. Exactly what I wanted to draw. Uh, let me think. Okay. So, he has four blockers. We have three, six, nine attackers. We play Rider. He's gonna block here, 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 and maybe here. So this leaves us with two, four, seven, Eight, nine, and I don't think he can win. I think we, if we just attack with everything, we just win. Okay, so one, two, three, four. These doesn't don't block. So he jumps here, throws one here. That's two. Another one here, and another one here. So we get four creatures blocked with the highest power. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus these two. Oh wait, I'm not counting this one. These four are blocked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus three, that's 11. Yeah, we got him dead. Just attack with everything. Unless I'm being really dumb and I'm missing something, and I think this is just lethal. I don't think I'm actually missing something. Like, conflict? Yeah. Oof. Our game. We were on the draw. No, we were on the play that game. Alright, so... As I've did last one. I'm definitely gonna cut images. I'm gonna cut Bresto. Uh, I definitely want the oh, where is it? I definitely want the Dire Fleets because like last game I basically just won because on turn 3 I vialed in one of the Dire Fleet just to exile a Conflagrate. Like I didn't get any value out of it but I exiled one of the conflict grains and that probably won me the game. Um, and I'm actually going to bring our React Champion. I mean, we saw how low of a life total we were in that game. And last game, I brought in this member, but it was actually pretty bad for me. Like, all of his creatures are recursive. Even if you kill it, they're going to come back. And losing a lot of life against Dredge is not advisable. And I really like the meddling mage in, the, is in, the, in this matchup. So, this is definitely the plan I'm going to stick to. So, we sided board, we sideboarded 3 Dire Flea, Daredevil, plus 2 Aurea Champion. I mean, Aurea Champion might not be that great. But it does have protection from any removal that he has. And the only creature that Aurea Champion doesn't block in this deck is Narco Amoeba. Well, especially because it has flying. But you get what I mean. Uh, we took out all the Phantasmal image and one Restoration Angel. Sorry for the delay. I'm, uh, I always do a write-up of the matchups that I play. So I keep track of all my games. Um, do I want anything else? Probably not. Okay, submit. This just doesn't feel like a hard matchup for us. At least that's my experience. Do we like this hand? We do have Noble and Vile. 
Only Captain 7, we are on the draw. Taking out a, a cathartic reunion or a conflagrate. It's actually pretty strong for us. And I do like the vial. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. This might not be the best hand against him, but it should be okay. Again, same situation that happened last game. Opponent passes with mana up. And one way that we get blown out by this is by playing Nubble and get and letting it get uh, Dark Blasted or Lava Axed. And actually playing Vio on turn 1 shuts down that line of play. Which is pretty important in my opinion. He, although we... Mm, I mean we can play around Dark Blast by Violin Nubble on the champion of the parish uh, when he targets if he targets all right first dredge was good second dredge was pretty bad dark more salvage go Gary tug stink with okay so we know three cards in his hand uh-huh another vial okay so As weird as it sounds, I actually want to play Freebooter here. I want to slow him down. I know three cards in his hand are creatures. And if he only has like one way to discard it, maybe uh, a cathartic reunion or a faithless looting, we can actually slow him down pretty hard. And if he's just committing to a uh, free mana faithless looting, I think we are okay. Look, he doesn't have any treasure in the bin, so I think we are actually going to freebooter him. Yeah. Sure. This also blocks Narco Amoeba. Keeps our life total intact. Oh, uh, Lightning Axe. Thank God, sir. Thank God we freebooted him. Alright, pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we know five cards in his hand. There's the Blood Crypt, untapped for Fatal's Looting. Sure. We are in okay shape right now. Mm hmm. Like, we force his play of uh, doing this because he could on his upkeep Lava Axe one of our guys. I will uptick that. Take a draw, meddling mage, great draw. Wow, I don't ever feel like I can lose this matchup, to be honest. Alright, so let's leave Tenon. Triggers on stack, violin, meddling mage, on conflagrate. Triggers on the stack again. Let it resolve. Champion is already huge. Uh, yeah, let's just play Nubble. Triggers again. It's got a pretty bad ward, and we got a pretty good one. If he doesn't block this, yeah, he's forced to block the champion. Like it's just too much damage. This thing doesn't even die to Lava Axe anymore. Okay, so he dredged the Stinkwit. Um, do we care about Dark Blast? Actually, I'm just going to take it. I'm not going to risk getting blown out by Dark Blast. I think he just sideboards in Nature's Claim for, for Graveyard Hay, right? If he's just sideboarding the... Nature's claim for vile. I think that's a very bad line to take. All right. So what is our play here? Probably gonna start by second canopy. Ooh, dire fleet. Wow. See, it's always good. It's amazing. And I'm actually not gonna care about. Oh, wait. Should I be? 
I think I'm actually going to be redundant and I'm going to exile the conflagrate or do I exile the faithless looting? So let's think it through. If he somehow gets to kill the meddling mage, he can conflagrate for like seven or something. Uh, this thing queen makes it very awkward. And he also gets to... Oh wait, do... Oh, he does have lightning axe, but we don't have mana. Alright, so let's just... I'm actually gonna get a little bit greedy here. I'm gonna freebooter him. And... Next turn... Okay, go Gary to go Gary to extinct I probably already knew his hand. Alright, four cards. Uh, I will actually offer the trade here. Or will I? Yeah, I'll I'll actually offer the trade here. Sure. This way, we can actually get for a bunch of damage next turn. He's gonna... Oh, shit. This is very annoying. Like, the Stink Queen makes our life so hard. It's not even funny. But I guess if it's just Stink Queen every turn... Eventually, we are going to win. I don't see any reasonable way for him to win. Sure, two blood guests. That's fine. Wow, that's a lot of triggers, man. Okay. No. Uh, we should speed up a little bit here. Raymond's right, right there. Uh, I just want to get rid of that. Jesus. The thing's annoying. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right play, but we do have to get damage in. Like, we don't have any other option. So, goodbye, Stinkweed. Trigger on stack, sure. Uh, discard a card. Kill this. Uh huh. Discard this attack for a bunch with you as well take six like this way we force him to play stinkwit like there's no other line of play that he can do I think because the conflagrate is still locked behind the meddling mage and next turn we also get to mantis rider him we are going to uptick the Vial to 3 and Violin Mantis Rider because the odds of, our, of us drawing a 2 drop are higher. Also, if we draw another Dire Flea, we can just. Okay, sure. Block one. So he has a land in hand. He didn't actually dredge, which is very important. I know he has another Stinkwit. Right, that's the other one. There's the land. Land? Land? No, no land. Okay. Yes. Falia. Interesting draw. Yes. Play it. So let us think. He probably held up the land for the blood gas next turn. Okay, he has four blockers. He can block with Thug, keep the Narco Amoeba back. Uh, 
these board states are so complicated, man. The problem is that he can't, I just can't keep attacking with only one dude. Do I offer up the trade on the champion of the parish? That's the question. And I think I actually have to, right? Uh, yeah. You gotta keep the pressure on. Sure. Mm hmm. That's very annoying. I need to draw a Follies Lieutenant. Jesus, we are running low on time. Should be careful with that. It's the first time that I'm recording, so <laughs> I should be paying attention to that a little bit more, I guess. We might actually go to time here. Hopefully not, but it's possible. It's just that these board states are very complicated. Alright, stinkweed again. Jesus, that thing's annoying. Sure. There's a go Gary Thug. Probably already played this Dark Moray. No, I don't want to uptick it. Alright, great draw. On blue, white, play you, attack. Same attack as last turn. Eventually he's gonna run out. Like, he cannot win through this board state. I got one of the lav axes, two of them. Probably has another one. So that, oh jeez, oh that's it, oh, okay yeah, that's, that's the third one at least. Ugh, just has so many blockers, annoying. He's actually the one running out of time, not me. Well, I guess, not exactly, we are on five minutes. Uh, this is going to be a long video. Hmm. He could actually... Dark Blast has one, two... No, he actually... Yeah, he dreaded one of the Dark Blasts, so that's a mistake. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just take three. Dark Blast... Folia. No stink with him. That's good for us. Okay. He dreaded stink with stink with. Okay. He's running low on cards. What is he going in this card? Stinkweed copper line. So he still has one stinkweed in hand. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Play lieutenant and attack with everything, I guess. Let's just play dumb. Yeah, whatever. Like, we are running low on time. Opponent is low on very low on resources. And I don't think I care anymore. No, I'm not actually not gonna unlock this guy. Or actually, do we want to? He, hmm. He actually cannot, right? This is five damage on its own. 
if he throws two guys in front of this, he can still jump one. And yeah, that's not lethal, so I should. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it back. Uh, conflagrate is not gonna matter that much, to be honest. But I guess he can low him, get a bunch of lands, and kill some of my guys, I guess. Maybe this rebooter to get back the lava axe, I guess. Wow, it's actually very hard to record and play at the same time. Okay. Opponent is at two. We are not actually in danger of dying, I suppose. At least I hope so. What is he going to dredge? I know he has a stink weed in, stink weed in hand. Opponent is actually running low on time himself. He cannot afford to attack. He's gonna have four blockers. And I'm gonna have seven attackers. Ugh. Stop with the narco amoebas, man. They are annoying. Sure. <laughs> this is gonna actually reach the, the exact same board state as, as the, the last game that I played. Where opponent's gonna run so long cards that he cannot really do anything. Like, okay, so he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he just lets High Arc through, stays at 1 life. What is the play for him here? So he has to block one at each, right? Yeah, this is going to trade. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to attack. Again, I'm just going to play with his card total. He cannot really afford to dredge anything right now. Uh, Conflagrate is locked behind the meddling mage, but it doesn't really matter anymore, I guess. He could low him for three cards, maybe four. That's not going to matter that much. His dark blasts are now going to be useful right now. As one, two, probably the third one in these six, six cards, I guess. Sure. That's actually very dangerous, dude. Now he, he's gonna target up Narco Amoeba, but he has to dredge. Sure. Oh, he targeted the imp. Okay. It's not so problematic, I guess. Another imp, sure. Um, no. Okay. Attack with this guy. I'm just gonna keep doing this every turn. Mm hmm. Oopsie. You got two cards, man. Tug, sure. Can he keep looping it? No, he cannot, right? The only way he can do that is by dredging Thug. Unless he can Thug. 
he blocks with a thug. He blocks with a thug. Put thugs on top. Blocks with the thug. Put thugs on top. So no attacks. I'm just gonna pass. Let it die. Let him die to his own card draw. Yeah, the the, the right. He can keep looping the the go get it thug, right? This dies. He put the other thug on top. He draws it. Puts the other tug on top, sure. I don't even care about those guys anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to die next turn. He's dead in two turns. Yeah. I got this one. Is he gonna crash in with everyone? <laughs> probably not. But he will probably next turn. Like, there's no way out, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna block those. It's just too damn it. Oh, wait. That's a lot of attackers, though. But I think we can actually live anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna block. This matchup is actually very complicated. You can see opponent is also running on time. These board states are so hard to to read, to not read but make the right play. I probably made a lot of mistakes on this game that I'm not even aware of. Yeah, I'm not gonna block. I'm just gonna use my life total. I'm not gonna give him the opportunity to keep looting, looping the Dogari tug. Okay, play a blocker. Trigger those two. Um, no attacks. Pass the turn. And now he either wins or... Actually, if he somehow wins, I pretty much just lost the match. Because we are at two minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. Here he comes. Okay, opponent. So block here, block here, block here, block here. Also block here, block this guy. How, how much damage is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's just block another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Pass the turn. Okay, so sorry everyone for the length of this video. It's actually almost re reaching the fifth min mark, I guess. Yeah. Wow, this was a long one. Okay, so sorry and sorry for any mistakes. This was the first video that I recorded, and thank you for watching.